right, this is Wilmington, North Carolina Delivery GES. Uh, Frito-Lay is switching a lot of their bins and bins and stuff to GES style. And like I said, a lot of places you come to are going to have, to have clothes. So, like I said, it's always important to look through your permit book because part of your permit book is clothes. When you come to Wilmington, you definitely need to have a trained eye. Because up this way, there are so many small roads. And I'm going to tell you this now, people that will not bring you here the way it should. You definitely going to have to Google map this place. You won't have to Google map the Wilmington GES uh, Frito-Lay. Because don't depend on that people that, period. So, that's what it looked like. You see it behind me? These are the the little um you know walk things but i don't use that man i forgot my wrap for it crap your bills part of your bills is going to have route numbers and when i say route numbers like you see these numbers on the side that's like an address to a house so you need to know which address or, I mean, it's just a figure of speech, but these are called route numbers. So you need to pretty much know which route numbers, which route numbers go where. So you gotta look on your bills and find out which door you gotta start with first. And you find that out by looking on your bills. And I'm on the wrong side, so this place has two sides and I need to go to the right side. Now a lot of places you come to, please be careful with pulling in the lot because you're gonna have people, cars, that's definitely going to be in your way as you pull in these places. So you got to be careful when you pull it into a lot of these places to deliver because the lots are small. So now I got to find out where I'm at. We want to see how this is going to work out. All right. So I have to pretty much uh, just wait a second and then he'll pull out and I'll pull in. So a lot of um, guys here. They don't mind helping you. So if you just start in free delay, and let's just say you got your trainer's number, call your trainers for whatever questions you got. And then if you run into another free delay driver that's been here for a while, they will help you. A lot of these guys here, well, I ain't gonna say everyone, but most of them, they wanna teach you what you should know. So for the most part, you know, don't be afraid to ask because they will guide you in the right path. Like he helped me find the address, or should I say route? He helped me find the right route that I have to start off with. So yeah, I gotta wait for him to finish taking his stuff off and then I can pull up to the door I need. So yes. Y'all know I'm always full of doing different things to further make my job easier. So I'm gonna be left eye today. Girl, y'all ever heard of TLC? No. I don't want your number, no. I ain't gonna give you mine, and no. I don't want none of your time. So, what do left eye always wear that makes our left eye? Hmm. What do football players wear? Hmm. I'm a football player for Frito Lay. I'm about to uh, I'm about to punt these boxes right in that dang route. So yes, black lipstick. I'm about to put this joint. I ain't gonna just put it on my left eye. I'm gonna put it on both my eyes. So my that way the sun. Won't be beaming down on the sister. How you do this? How you do it? Hold up. I did it like that? Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa, shoot. Hey. I'm about to play some football with y'all. Hey. Wait a minute now. I'm going to play any type of game. Hey. Wait and make it dark. Yeah. I'm ready to play. All right. Y'all probably like, man, this girl don't lie. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm about to. Oh. I don't got to figure out. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is that too much? There we go. Alright, you gotta smear it. You gotta smear it in a little bit. Let me smear it. Alright. So when I'm out there... Wait a minute. So when I'm out there, the sun is not killing me. They, they, they say it's supposed to reflect off to keep the sun kind of out your eyes a little bit. But we shall find out. We gonna find out how this works. Mm -hmm. We gonna find out how this works today, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so... When you see these parts, usually these are the back orders. So back orders mean once you finish putting your stuff where they go, you have to go through all this to put these where they go. Because what happens is they start loading the trailer. Then somehow these orders wasn't ready. So they then 
threw them on cards, but they not in sequence. So let me knock this out. Now with these GESs, they have letters. So that's why I like GESs, because it's easier, straight to the point of where they go. Like if you see G, put them in a G spot. Connect those to addresses. And those are your dips that you have to put at the beginning of your row when you start a GES. That's how much he can take, you know, on his truck. So 80 inches tall is usually my height. I'm 5'7", so I'll reach up. I'll show y'all. What I'll do is I'll reach up, you know, push the box and get a stack to fall down to get my 80 inches. So just watch. Usually it's like wrist, so. And usually, you just start just your other stack right here. Like this is your other stack. So when you take it in there, you kind of pull it out to let the sales route guy know that that is um, a separate stack. So yes. All right, this is where it gets a little ugly. You know what I can't stand? I understand they hiring a lot of people. So you got new people probably in the warehouse. But remember I said that you go by the letters to put your stuff where they need to go. So they should be in order. But no, this stuff is so fucking out of order, shit don't make no sense and they can mess up your time, big time. But it's part of the job, right? Up here. So you got G here, and then you got I starting here. That's an I row, this is a G row. Then you got more G's after I's. Now you got more I's and then more G's. And I'm guessing these are eyes. So when you finish a row, the way you know that it should start a new row is when you see dip. When you see dip is when it's time to go to the next order. But they got this stuff so screwed up, it's ridiculous. When you trying to pick up this dip with your hand truck, most people that never did it before will try to get the dip from this way. But to get two stacks, like you see is one, two, come at it this way let me see if i can show y'all hold up so we're gonna come in from this side instead of from the front so you always want to tilt tilt up your hand truck and then stomp stomp it in and then there you go now
like saying, when I see that first side door, I start getting so happy. So let's knock this crap out, y'all. Man, I'm sandwiched in. <sighs> sandwiched in by him and the route guy. I'm gonna have to wait. Try to bring rain gear, cause it will rain on you. <laughs> yes, rain. So come prepared when when you out here and about because you might just get caught in this stuff so come prepared all right time to move up so i can come out that side door all right i got my katie's lovely guys help and now i am at the dance floor so let me get this joint up off of here time to get on the road in a few yep Bounce. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a like a boss. 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 